there are like 53 people here in the United States who like soccer. Maybe 63. Unlike the rest of the world, we just don't get it. I just don't get it. I mean, penalty cards? Guys with one name? What the hell is that about? Now, if you set the ball on fire and throw some electric fences into the mix, well, now you've got my attention. This is Mario Strikers Charged for the Nintendo Wii, and thankfully, it makes precisely those adjustments. Mario Strikers Charged is the 2007 follow-up to Super Mario Strikers, which was one of the brightest final hurrahs for the Nintendo GameCube, and at its core, the sequel doesn't stray far from the 2005 original. It's a hyper-exaggerated and fast-paced mutation of the sport it's emulating. Before taking the pitch, you'll start by choosing a team captain from the list of usual suspects. Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Donkey Kong, you get the idea. You round out your four-man team by choosing three secondary characters who play alongside your captain. Each captain and supporting character has a specific set of skills and abilities, so there is a bit of strategy in terms of pairing captains and subordinates based on your individual playstyle. And when your roster's set, it's time to lace them up and jugamos una partida de football. Like the original, Mario Strikers Charged is built on three basic principles. One, increase the sport's obnoxiously slow tempo. Two, simplify its mechanics for easy controls. And three, add plenty of the outrageous powers and items we've come to expect from Mario sports games. It's like the Mario Kart of soccer. But the sequel goes even further than that. Somehow, it takes even more liberties with the game of soccer and is even more over the top. Now, most of the time, the game's complete and utter anarchy works, but as good as explosions and electrocutions are, well, Mario Strikers Charged is proof you can have too much of a good thing. For example, you could use power-up items in Super Mario Strikers, and your team captain could execute a special shot worth two goals, but the game balanced that chaos with at least a little down-to-earth soccer. As you see here, you could make a perfect pass to an open player charging the net and that player could then execute a quick shot with a much greater chance of scoring. It was a satisfying and rewarding mechanic that reminded players they were, you know, playing a sport. But Mario Strikers Charged cranks the chaos to 11 and all but eliminates any semblance of what little practical soccer was there in the first place. Those power-up items, for example, there are way more this time. Those special shots the captains can shoot they're worth up to six goals apiece this time. And that little matter of encouraging perfect passing, it's been replaced with a silly charging system. Charge the ball before passing, and the ball starts to glow. Pass it around to maximize its glow before shooting, and your shot will be much more difficult to stop, no matter where you're shooting it from. Having more items and six-point shots are fun additions, but the charge mechanic is a problem. It deteriorates Mario Strikers Charged into a mindless game of pinball, and it's a stark contrast from the original's perfect pass mechanic. It's just substantially less enjoyable. But as I said, most of the amplified outrageousness is actually an improvement. Mario Strikers Charged has more characters and more stadiums than the original, most of which have their own gimmicks and environmental hazards which make playing on them a unique challenge. That stuff is great, and it makes what was already an outstanding multiplayer game even more fun to play with friends. Oh, come on! Hey, hey. Speaking of which, Mario Strikers Charged was just the second Wii game to offer online multiplayer via the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, abbreviated NWC which incidentally also stands for never works correctly. When the online does work, it's a blast, and if you're committed to exchanging 72-digit codes with your friends just to play them online, you'll occasionally be rewarded for your efforts. Just expect lots of frustrating error codes and disconnections for no apparent reason. 
Mario Strikers Charged makes its already outrageous predecessor seem like a legitimate game of FIFA in comparison. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with being over the top. I mean, it, it is a Mario sports game. But there is a limit. There's a point at which games like this lose sight of the sport they recreate, no matter how thin the resemblance may have ever been, and just become a frenzied mess. Now, make no mistake, Mario Strikers Charged is a lot of fun. It's the best Mario sports game on Wii. But it comes much closer to that point than the original game ever did. So, provided you can handle more than just a bit of absurdity with your soccer, you'll find plenty to like about Mario Strikers Charged. Mario time! <laughs>